like up to five volts or so, we'll be doing pretty good. It's gotta take a bit of zirkin to get this. Yeah! Whoa! We can go further beyond! Today, we're going to, we're gonna solve the energy crisis because this has, this has the potential to change the world. This bag that's sticking to the iron filings that are embedded into the wood of this desk. These are so strong. It's actually two magnets, uh, you can see here. They accidentally conjoin them. Is it gonna be like one of those shake to charge? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be kind of like that. It's gonna be a tube. So basically, here's the idea. This is a, this is a generator that generates I had to add the sexual themes tag to this, or not tag but the uh the content classification because it's a little bit it's a little bit spicier than usual uh so what you do is it's a generator that generates electricity by zirking it and by it huh, well i mean my peanuts so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little grommet to protect the edge of this so that uh you don't lacerate yourself and then a little cap on the underside of the magnet and basically okay so assume this is you maybe a little bent some people are like that this will nest here, and then you go... <laughs> and there's gonna be coils on the outside that capture this as electricity. Is this patent pending? You know, as the, as the, the philanthropist I am, I'm gonna make this design free for all. We're not, we're not gonna be, you know, giving electricity to, uh, to children in Africa with, uh, with these patents getting in the way. I want anyone to have access to this, this wonderful mode of alternate, of alternate energy. Can't get ship for power out of the average American stroke length. Okay, so there are gonna be some power, some some powering advantages and disadvantages depending on the the length of the stroke, but also the speed. So it's a it's a two for one. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work too. Like this is very basic generator uh, technology. Coil of wire on outside, zirkin magnet on inside. I think we should be like pretty good. Ready to hear the hip destruction? I originally was gonna make this a hip thrust powered one, which is a similar theme, but I realized that the zirkin power is actually a little bit better. All right, this magnet is like ridiculously powerful. I got this thing on Amazon for like 15 bucks. Amazing purchase. Combine the Jorkinator with nuclear energy. When I get the nuclear fuser up and running, we'll see if we get a thing running. We won't be able to actually get electricity out of the nuclear fuser though. Not nearly what we're putting in at least. All right, let's start winding our coils. It's gotta take a little while. And unlike for the Tesla coil, I don't really know how I could make this on a drill. And we're gonna have to essentially wind the same type of coil we'd be winding for the Tesla. You gotta wrap the Zerker by hand. I'm hand wrapping the Zerk right now. Well, right now, okay, there we go. Now that I got this taped down, we can go a little harder, no pun intended. I don't know how long wrapping this coil is gonna take. I should probably have a piece of tape on standby just in case I have to tape it real fast. We should probably not make it too long. We don't want too much lost power to people with shorter peens. Is that gonna be enough space for silicone or are we just raw dogging the plastic pipe? No, 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 there's gonna be a buffer here on the bottom. Here's the thing is, I'm thinking we can maybe 3D print a small part for this, a little like cap for it so that you're not just raw against the cold metal. But what we're gonna do is uh, I have some, some silicone putty that I'm gonna make a little grommet ring around the bottom to both protect you from the hard edge and also give you a give you a little grip <laughs> how many turns is it so far i'm two layers deep i'd have to count the density i don't know how many turns exactly this thing keeps sticking to things i've had to resist the temptation to play with this while i'm at my desk because i know my dumb ass is gonna fucking get it close to my work laptop which has a spinning disc drive and destroy the entire thing we gotta see if we can, uh, get any power out of this. These alligator kit clips are so fucking cooked, man. <laughs> They've been blown up so many times. Alright. Okay! Okay, okay, we got something going here. What happens if we set it to AC mode? There we go. <laughs> it's pretty decent, honestly. Pretty good amount of current. It's not measuring the current. It's measuring the voltage, but I see what you're saying. We're zorking it. Now we just need the rest. This was the, the most time consuming part for sure. 
We've been at this for two hours, winding the Zork coil. We gotta, we gotta modify it once we get the generator working. We can also use this as an input device because it can tell the acceleration that the head enters the, the shaft using the amount of voltage spike. So you can actually have a pretty good like reactive Zerk meter. I hope this stuff's still good. It's pretty damn old. So this one's really oily. It might be losing its uh, its resin properties. These are both oily. Oh no, we'll see if it forms into a coherent. You're supposed to use this to make molds. We're gonna just use it straight up to make the, the thing. These look like the same size. So I'll go ahead and combine them. From the minute we mix it, once it's thoroughly mixed enough, we have, I think, 10 minutes before it starts setting up. Here. Right now, we're adding the little buffet. Because you don't want to just be raw dogging the fucking plastic tube. We're adding, we're adding a little something. <laughs> Can you make an XL version? That won't fit. This is the biggest fucking magnet that I could get. Which is why I got an appropriate size tube to match the magnet. If you're too girthy, I guess you just don't get to generate electricity. You gotta crank your hog and kill the planet, dude. Fucking asshole. Bet you feel like shit now. Okay, wait, it's starting to solidify. Let's hurry up. Get this shit on the, on the tube. The shit's setting up faster than I remember. I think the, I think it being old is fucking with it. This actually is pretty small. Like, hang on, do I have anything for scale? I don't know, hand for scale? This is pretty small. We're gonna have to sell to the Chinese market. But I think we can get some sales nonetheless. You gotta, you gotta start your energy crisis one market at a time. You have a banana to test it with? Dude, a banana ain't gonna fit in here. That's why I said. We have a cylinder. This needs to be like pretty secured. We're gonna wait till this dries. Oh wait, can we make some texture lines? Hang on, we could, uh, where's my clay? It's starting to solidify. It's already starting to set up a little bit. I don't think we can have too many texture lines here. It's also already like pretty low be and malformed. Well, the idea is that you give this to gooners. You don't want people who are gonna blow off in five minutes. You barely made any power at that point. You need this to someone who's gonna crank it for 12 hours straight. Anyway, basically what I'm saying is I'm designing this with the perfect audience right here. So we got nothing to worry about. I think we got this shit locked in. Yeah, yeah, you need your edge game on point. Here's the thing, do we put the giant capacitor storing the power on the device or do we store it off board? Cause should we make this as light as possible and then just have like a separate box that actually stores it? Or should we like, will there be a version that works automatically? I was sleeping in the afternoon and don't want to lose my energy grind. Dude, what do you mean works automatically? You got to plug it in? Dude, we're saving the planet here. Make it weighted so it's also a workout. That's just a shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> we already have that! Here, we can rectify it down. We'll have rectifier and a capacitor on board. This is a massive fucking rectifier. We're not generating that much power here. Okay, right, so we need to do a little bit spicy because we need something that holds this in, but also won't like lacerate you. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's such a strong magnet. I love this thing. It's so fun to play with. That's what you're also gonna be saying about the Zerkerator. Or what I call it, the Jerkerator. Imagine a man with piercings using this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There needs to be a disclaimer. Like, by the way, dangerous big magnets inside. Do not use if you have. <laughs> Do you think the, the magnet should be held by a spring on the end? Like where it dangles down here? Should that be how this is, how this is held in? Cause I have some springs. That way you're kind of bouncing it up and down. It would help, yo, that's the thing. It would help assist the amount of weight on the tip. Okay, we have these here. I need something pretty loose. I mean, it is heavy. Like, it's not like, not that heavy. Also need a way, I guess, to strap it to a spring. Maybe we won't do that. Maybe, we, yeah, yeah. We, we should just let it free ball. I don't think I have any spring loose enough. String run on the inside? Could do that, could do that. I think maybe it should just be a dead weight stop and then plug up the other side. The problem is we need like something inside this lip that will stop it from launching out the end. <laughs> and I'm not sure, it can't be something metal or it's gonna stick to it. Well, I guess it could be metal because you're gonna shove it out of the way on insertion, but it can't be anything that's like too much. This shouldn't make it too uncomfortable. This is gonna be, where. Well, let's put these on in like a goatsy formation. Uh, hang on, does this hold it? 
Yes. Oh, wow. It holds it by the tape alone. That's actually great. All right, that did the trick. And this is still perfect for inserting cylinders. My friend wants to know how much this is gonna be. Good news for him, you can build this entire thing for about $40. If you have to buy everything, if you have to buy a spool of wire for like 15, this magnet was like 15, and this tube was like 10. If you get some uh, mold putty for the ring, now this is where you can start to splurge a little bit, because if you get some silicone, it's gonna be a lot better for you. 400 volt rectifier. We don't need big power handling, because we're like tiny. I don't even know why I have these big juicy high current ones. Oh, I know, because uh, I need it to charge the capacitor bank for the rail gun. All right, so the way a full bridge rectifier works is it takes, the basic one is it takes AC in, which we're gonna be getting AC from this, and it puts DC out. So if we wanna light up like an LED or something, we need DC out. Uh, and it does this using an array of four diodes in a little diamond shape. They just make sure to flip the, the bottom part of the sine wave so that it goes bump, 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 instead of wah, 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 wah. There, there, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Here, we can actually mount this onto a circuit board. Well, that's a lot of circuit board for something that's only gonna have a capacitor in addition to this. We're from the time when I was on that website. Do you see that fly land on my hand? This dude just came and landed on my damn thumb. <laughs> He's just there now. Is he still alive? I'm kind of afraid if I open my hand, he's gonna still be alive. He is still alive. We need to study him. Where's a jar? Put him in the machine. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's fucked up. I'm getting one of the vape jars. <laughs> yes, he is alive. We've trapped him. <laughs> Give him an air hole. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We need air or he will suffocate. Stick the needle through the cork and then just pop. Air hole. All right, fly in jar. What he gonna do? Here we go. And then we just tape up the top here. Okay, hang on. We need to we need to test the Jorkin power. This should be a DC out. Let's set up our, our test bench. We need a cylinder. Fly, you're gonna have to watch this, okay? It's probably long enough. This is the mouthpiece to the 500 cigarette holder. Let's just like mount this here. Hang on a second. This is my, my old Sculpey. It's pretty decroted, but it'll stick enough that I'll be able to stick this in it and it should hold it upright. It do, it's not gonna have a lot of sideways force exert. Okay, now, this should generate electricity. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Set this to DC mode. Don't have to use this fickle AC power anymore. I'm just curious what we're pulling, and hopefully the loss isn't too much. We are not pulling three volts, brother man. Hang on, hang on. There's something wrong here. Why is this... Is this capacitor charged? Yes, the capacitor is... Oh, I charged the capacitor! Hang on. Yeah, baby! We're hitting five volts! That's enough to charge a phone! Granted, are we gonna be sustaining five volts when the thing is like discharged? We need a we need a load. No pun intended. Maybe like yeah yeah, just a 1k will be fine. I have this big spool of 1ks that were gifted me. It's listen, the electrical name for the resistance is a load. Okay, get your mind out of the gutter. I don't know why you're all, you guys are always everything's everything's a sex joke with you guys. Anyway. Oh no, baby, we're still hitting like four volts. Oh, the wire came undone. Oh, cause it's stuck to the magnet, fuck. Okay, hang on. It's okay, this is just a temporary arrangement. This means even taking, you can see live fly reaction. Would a larger pipe in theory make it generate more? No, it's not the uh, the girth of the pipe that actually would help. Though a slightly longer pipe would make it easier to generate more. But honestly, even this modest one, like the magnet's hitting the end of the coil here. So, you know, even if your pipe, your cylinder is not as well endowed, shall we say, then you can still get some, some pretty good energy generation, like. Solidly in the three volts, even with suboptimal strokes. I feel like that's pretty damn good. Uh, let's actually get an LED on here. 
Put the LED at the tip of the tube. Yeah, yeah, like here. So you can see the, uh, and then I'll turn the lights down. We'll dim the lights a bit. Get some mood lighting going. I think we'll be pretty constructive for the, the experiment. It's necessary to see the light changes. You know? I'll move this more towards the center. Yeah, yeah, dim the lights for atmosphere. And then if this works, then we set up like some cool shit. I don't even know. This could be an IR LED. I don't know what color this LED is. If it's IR, then it's invisible and we won't see anything. Oh, it's blue! Yes! You can see it, it's dimly glow. Dude, it works. Now, if we can just add a USB port to this so it can charge your phone, then we're ballin', dude. You should put on some gloves for the- <laughs> Hang on, hang on. All right, let's see if we can make the, the blue light light up. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha dude, it so works. This actually is pretty good at generating the electricity. All right, let's see what we can do for a, a battery. Or we don't even need battery. We can do a capacitor charging. These are the shits I was using to evaporate ball bearings. Now granted, we're not gonna be generating enough power to do that. We can absolutely use this to generate enough power to like maybe light a coil. We don't even need the tiny capacitor on board. Here, does this need shorted? Nah, it's got sub one volt. We're fine. This thing's running out of battery. It has the low battery symbol. What the hell? What the hell? We don't need anything bigger than these alligator clips. We ain't pulling this level of current. Didn't know what he meant by zirking it until- <laughs> I don't think that's as commonly used of a term as I thought it was. <laughs> All right, hang on. If we get this guy up to up to charge, like up to five volts or so, we'll be doing pretty good. Oh, it's gonna take a bit. Once this sucker's charged, we're really gonna be... Maybe this is too many capacitors. Oh wait, this probe fell out. Oh, never mind. 5.71, we're already like fucking banking, bro. Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit, dude. We're seven and a half volts? We need more. Oh, yeah. ah, I ripped it off. <laughs> Probably left handed. Whoa, we can go further beyond. Eight volts, yes. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes! Fuck! <laughs> the shaft! Talk to us! In the UO stream, straight jorking it. And by it, let's just say, ha ha, the contraption. Jorking it with that shit that kills Shinzo Abe. R.I.P., my man. Y'all tickle the base. I don't like that you guys are giving me advice on this. As if I don't already know. <laughs> yes! We're charging it up! Ah! <laughs> no, it's pending! Free energy! I've solved the energy crisis! Someone said left-handed earlier that it worked better. Holy shit, it does. Yes! Hang on, hang on. I feel like I want it to be darker so that you can see it better. All right, guys, let's level up our jork. It's... Whoa, look how low the frame rate is. Now it looks like a bad video you found in 2004. Yeah! Oh! We've hit our crystal charge peak. <laughs> Someone needs to make a horror game where this is the only light source you get. If it's a horror game, the biggest complaint is that women are gonna be at a disadvantage when playing it. And they're gonna be the ones that wanna win the most. Hang on, we could try to get one more good charge out of the crystal. Yes! Bro! No! If I do an exhibit at a con again, this should be the exhibit that I do. I should have one on each side and you get two people to jerk against each other. And it like feels like a meter. And the first one to get to the top, 
Dude, hang on. <laughs> I should definitely do that as a con gimmick. That's actually fantastic. No one will do that. Yes, they will. If it's like an on stage event, okay? And you're like, I need two volunteers to use my, my generator system, okay? You could definitely, that's actually great. 